from mountain peaks to crystalline lakes, to the desert floor and down deep underground, Nevada has a spectacular range of geologic formations. Today, I'm in the Great Basin National Park. And as incredible as the view is from here, perhaps one of the most spectacular elements is underground. Dustin, this is a, a beautiful area. Is this the only cave in this area? We have about um, 40 different caves in the park, but this is the only one public. Oh, wow, this is really cool. What is uh, the temperature difference from the surface down to where we're going? It's about 50 degrees all year round in here. This is kind of dim and mysterious in here, isn't it? It is. In the 1880s, Absalon Lehman accidentally came across these caverns. Astonished by them, he became their first tour guide. Let me guess, Lehman, the guy that this was all named after, was probably a prospector. He was, he was actually a failed gold miner. Now what is that up there? That's the natural entrance right up there. That's amazing, so that's right at the surface, that's where he would have come in. That's correct. This is incredible, and what's amazing is that you would never know that any of this was here. What is the name of this room? I'm sure it's got one. This is the Gothic Palace. The caves are full of beautiful formations, including stalactites, stalagmites, flowstones, and more than 300 others. So this is all limestone and the carbonic acid was dripping through. So the carbonic acid is dissolving the limestone and bringing that dissolved limestone down into the cave. Is it still active and still growing to this day? It is, yes. There are some spots you can see where it's dripping through here. The structures in the cave grow about an inch every 100 years. Lehman found this in the 1800s, so it goes, but when did this whole thing start? The limestone itself is estimated somewhere around 550 million years old. However, the oldest formation that's been dated in this cave is somewhere around 2.5 million. These rare shield formations make Lehman Caves especially unique. They were only found in about 800 caves of the 45,000 caverns that we know of in the U.S. Are there any critters down here? Anything live down here? We do have, um, we have bats, um, pack rats, pseudoscorpions. What are they eating? What in the world are they living on? Just a variety of little things they bring into the cave. The pseudoscorpions, they eat tiny little millipedes and That's centipedes amazing. and stuff like Nature that. Nature is amazing, isn't it? It is. One cave resident requires some special attention, bats. Rangers screen every visitor to prevent the caves from being contaminated by white nose syndrome, a fungal disease that has killed over 5 million bats in North America. Okay, after some twists and turns and we had to bend down low and you kind of got to go slow, we finally get to stand up. Where are we? This is called the lodge room. The lodge room, I love that. In the early 1920s, the Rhodes family managed the caves. They hosted numerous parties in the lodge room. It also later served as a movie set. Dustin, you are not disappointing. Where am I now? You're in the Grand Palace. Wow, it's huge. If you've never done this, this is something you really should consider to put on your bucket list. Amazing. In 1922, the Lehman Caves became protected as a national monument. In 1986, the caverns were folded into the Great Basin National Park where tens of thousands of people visit them each year. Hey, you know, I gotta tell you, Dustin, Lehman Caves was recommended by all the locals. They told me you're the guy to see and neither one of them was incorrect. They nailed them both. Thank you so much for taking this time with me today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So when you're thinking about exploring Nevada, think of this, think of diversity. Everybody knows the beauty that's on the surface, but don't forget to go underneath at Lehman Caves.